the Kiwis have refused to stand with Australia in joining in the criticism of the WHO investigation into how the coronavirus began in Wuhan. Prue, the Five Eyes partnership, really, you can only make it work if all five eyes are on the same page. Well, Ardern has demonstrated in the past she's an opportunist. She's parked her principles. Uh, and, frankly, I just think it's appalling. You know, this is supposed to be one of our great mates. Yeah. Uh, she... It's hypocritical anyway. She's going on this, you know, zero emissions targets, but she's... Her agriculture, which is her major emissions problem, is exempted. I mean, this woman is a politician in the true sense of the word. She's very likeable. She plays the people, and sadly, she's showing her true colours with this. And, you know, it'll come back to bite her on the bum when maybe China takes up a residence there one day. Yeah, well, there's no doubt that China will turn on them, whether they like it or not, because that's what China does. Daniel, do the New Zealanders need China more than they need Australia? Would that be a fair assumption? And therefore, she's gone along, you know, protecting her trade deals with China as opposed to what Australia has done? Very good observation and quite possible, Chris. We know that China is exerting a significant amount of economic and political leverage in New Zealand and it has to be said in Australia as well. And in that sense, China is behaving like all rising powers have uh, behaved throughout human history, trying to expand their influence in their region around the world um, through their influence via organisations like the World Health Organisation. And unfortunately, it's not a surprise that we are unlikely to ever find the truth behind the origins of the coronavirus or what was or not was not done by China to arrest the propagation of that virus. The other point I just quickly make, Chris, is that we can't allow the issues of China and the coronavirus to take our eyes off what Australia has done. It wasn't China that forced Australia to respond to the virus in the way that we have. And indeed, it wasn't the Chinese Communist Party, for example, that arrested a pregnant mother of two in front of her children for putting an opinion on social media about the lockdowns. That was the Victorian police that did that. And it wasn't the Chinese Communist Party that allowed Black Lives Matter protesters to commandeer city streets in open violation of the social distancing rules while mainstream Australians weren't allowed to go to work, weren't allowed to go to funerals, weren't allowed to go to weddings, weren't allowed to open their businesses. So that's an indictment of our ruling class. So we must keep our eyes also on what I think has been a significant failure of our ruling class throughout the year 2020. Yeah, fair point. Prue McSween... Daniel Wilde, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. All the best. Have a great Thanks, Easter. Thanks, Smithy. You too. Pleasure. Thanks. You too, Chris.